Right, Scott, well, tens of thousands of Internet users may be days away from losing service. The FBI has set up a website warning folks of a dangerous malware that could knock you offline next Monday. WDSU Washington Bureau reporter Nicole Killian on your side in Washington with how to stop it. The malware is called DNS Changer, and all it takes is a quick check of your computer system to find out if it's vulnerable. Come Monday, you may not be able to get online due to a malicious software program that continues to lurk over the Internet. What will happen is either you will not be able to connect to the Internet um, or your Internet connection is going to be very slow. Barry Green is a security expert with the website DCWG. It was set up in partnership with the FBI to inform users about the malware, which has infected more than a quarter million computers worldwide. With this uh, malware does is it takes your computer and whenever you go to a web page it points it to other pages. So what can you do if your computer is at risk? I would suggest installing an antivirus program. A lot of people like Norton and McAfee. Uh, one of my favorites is for free. It's from Microsoft called Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, that would search your computer for viruses and remove them for you. Internet providers and social media sites like Facebook and Google are also issuing warning messages to those who may be impacted. The big service providers have tested everything. They're pretty confident that, you know, if something happens, just call the service provider. They'll help you out. They'll get you cleaned up. Um, or call your, um, you know, other people that you rely upon to help get your computers fixed. And um, don't panic about Monday. If you still have concerns, you can also go to this website, dcwg.org, and click on the detect link to see if your computer's infected. On your side in Washington, Nicole Killian, WDSU News. So this whole problem started when international hackers ran an online advertising scam to take control of more than 570,000 infected computers around the world. They were arrested late last year. To date, the FBI estimates about 64,000 computers in the U.S. may still be infected.